Okay, so this is the backyard. Um, again, it's night and this isn't the best camera, but you get the drift. That's over across the canal for the farmers. It's where we get our water. <laughs> they get most of theirs. It was hailing pretty hard out here earlier. That's our street lamp. Hello, street lamp. His name is Bill Ding. Most of the thunder is hidden behind all these clouds. Yeah, you're probably wondering what I'm doing out here, and it's because it's been 15 years since I've seen a real thunderstorm. <sighs> At least one that was worth watching. So, pardon my commentary, but, you know, I'm going to enjoy this, okay? This is my time. Oh, it's amazing. That's our tree across the... Actually, it's their tree. Most of the thunder is coming from the... North of town... Yeah, it's coming from the southwest, southeast, and southwest. It's hitting us from both sides. Um, and right now, all we want to really get is most of the house. This is the house. Uh, they added this on in '77, and they added this on in 1980. And anyway, that's the house. Um, but this is southeast Oklahoma. Southwest, Southwest Oklahoma. <laughs> Southwest, Altus, Oklahoma. Tiny town. Tiny, tiny town. So I'm going to stand back just a little more. Um, not too close to the tree, but not too close to the fence post. Not like that's going to help, but you know, peace of mind. Let's see, you're getting some. I hope I'm getting some good lighting shots in here. Oh, that's beautiful. We're getting to some beautiful shots over here. I wish I could get some more good shots, but I can't get the camera focused right. Hopefully you're getting some. Oh shit, that one was right over me. I don't know if you guys saw that one, but I saw it right over me. It could have easily just gotten to me. Oh, this thrill and excitement. My dad used to hunt these in the late 80s all the time. He's still around. <laughs> so he's revived. He took some good pictures with a Kodiak, with a with a Instaprinter, they called it. Most of it's hidden behind the clouds. So it's going to get really interesting here in a moment. A little bit later on the clouds will move and we'll get to see some good shots out here. I'm also wearing steel toe boots which is probably not the best idea. <laughs> oh you guys are getting some good stuff. It's not as good as some of the others I've been through but it's still pretty awesome. Man it's over the other side of the house. But if I'm in an open field, I'm an open target. See, that's the problem. So this is lightning. Real lightning. None of that horse crap. <laughs> it goes on in the southwest of the state. Ooh, that was a good one. I'm not feeling the best at all. But there's a lone cloud. You can't see it. I don't think you can see it very well. But there's a lone cloud right in front front of me and I saw the electrical pulse going right over here somewhere in the cloud that was right that right there that that's the exact place where the cloud was and they've been going back and forth for almost an hour and a half oh it's just amazing oh did you see okay there was one here and then there was another one exactly like, like that one over there that's just the way it goes people thank god for the internet I can share this with my friends back home tell them what a real midwest freaking tornado pre-tornado looks like uh, I don't think we'll get the tornado. It's supposed to go west of us, uh, near Lawton, but, you know, that's the way it goes. We don't need the tornado. We need the freaking rain. <laughs> oh, shit. If it hits that freaking, if it hits that light like it did last time with the last major lightning storm, we're going to lose all power, and uh, I it caught fire to the fence over here. 
which is right in front of you. It caught, yeah, that metal fence burned. It melted, actually, it melted, but you get the idea. Okay, well, I have to go to the bathroom, so I'm going to be right back.